I'm not sure what I was expecting them to do. I didn't expect that. It's kind of like, I think I can't. This requires a system. This guy's not to be messed with. Not to be messed with. Welcome to Texas Beard Adventures. I'm Brad Harrell, your host, and today we're going to Hondo. Going to the sale barn to go buy some cows for the ranch. Thought I'd bring y'all along to see the whole process. Got my buddy's father, Mr. Stool, helping me out, and I also got um, one of my buddies, Rudd, helping me out with the purchase of the cow. Doesn't look like this place has changed too much. Me and Rudd are gonna go take a look at the cows. Do a little pre-look, he said. So we are on the catwalk above all the cows on the livestock here. See any good ones, Rudd? Not yet. Not yet. She looks like it. Now these are Angus or white face. Well, they call them baldies, or whatever. Oh, here's some Longhorns right here. No, I, I'm just, I'm just t saying that there's some Longhorns here. Is that a, is that a bull or is it a? There's another tiger stripe. There's a bull. What now? Which one's that? It's a Brahma. Brahma. And this one right here, this tiger stripe. What do you think that is? Brayford. Learning all the terminology because I don't know a lot about this, but you got to start somewhere, folks. Mm -hmm. I think they're going to start the auction with some sheep and goats. Right, okay. Right, 50 more, 50, ready? Okay. Iron going out, iron going out. Do all our do on there. Do all my do. 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 Do all my so Rudd was just telling me that there's a black goat in there with the bell on his neck. And the black goat just to train the other animals to go in and out. That's pretty funny. He goes, he goes through the boat and he comes back. So the uh, goat and sheep sale is over now. Now they started to the cows. The ones we're looking for are the ones with the P, means pregnant, and the what? The month of when they're due or when they got impregnated? And how far they're along. Oh, how far they're along. So if you see a P5, that means she's five months bred. Okay. This is Mr. Stool. He's guiding me through this. He's my Sherpa. So Mr. Stu is going to go over to where the Republican sits, supposedly, and he's going to sit with one of the buyers. They're going to buy the cows for me. I don't know. You tell me. What? What's the number? We're one cow down. Red cow, right? I got one or two more to go. I bought one and Bill got two. But we're going to take them out of his pen. Oh, okay. So what happened was is that 
Mr. Stool's buddy, Bill, he ended up buying two. And I didn't even know he bought two for me. I thought Mr. Stool was buying all, all three of them. So Mr. Stool bought one, Bill bought two, and now I'm getting all three. so we finally made it to the ranch and I've done some stuff off camera but I will explain got the cows there in the trailer how you doing old girl you're all right you're all right got one there got one over there and one back in the back laying down you're gonna be out in just a minute so we stopped me in a uh, rud. We stopped off at the store and bought some range cubes and some hay and a mineral block. And we got more hay over here. That's a trash pile. Don't mind that. That was from the previous owner. But I bought four square bales of hay. Square bales of hay. Say that four times fast. Why don't you? Uh, got the water trough here and so everybody's been telling me you want to drop them off where you're feeding them and where the water's at so they'll know to come back here and stay in this general area so when I pull up in the truck uh, maybe honk the horn or something and hopefully they come running so I can keep track of them anyway I've done this before we had two Charlotte heifers uh, at our uh, at the house that we're selling right now and they were train horned train horned horn no horn trained horn trained train horned is not a thing yeah no it's not maybe, maybe it could be a thing I don't know but I don't think it is anyway so just waiting for Robin Birdie and the boys to get back and then I'm gonna turn up loose. If anybody needs a riding lawnmower, this one all it needs is a battery and a seat. Uh, it's got a steering wheel, it doesn't have a hood. Uh, I've also got a used water heater and a couple of weed eaters over there that I will make you one heck of a deal on. Like, I mean, when I say one heck of a deal, I mean like almost free. I have to make something on them, but not very much. Woo, she's a big old girl, isn't she? Oh. She's a little scared. Yeah, she's holding booty. There's... They're scared, guys. <laughs> well, so much for that water for you guys to see where it was. I think we need to become friends with the neighbors so that way they can call us if they see our cows. Well, there you have it. The cows are gone. I put all this stuff out for them to eat and everything and they're gone. Huh? You can get down now. I didn't expect them to run over the hill and haul ASS to another county. That concludes this episode of Texas Beard Adventures. Check me out on Instagram at Texas Beard Adventures. Me and the wife of the kitties do all kinds of crazy stuff over there. If you're new to my channel, consider subscribing, hit the notification bell so you know when I post new videos. And I'll catch you on the flip side. You dang hillbillies. I want everybody on it. Everybody. Go first. <laughs> <laughs>
you dang land. Hey, dude. Yeah. Oh. Way to go, Fred. Fourth beer. Patrick. Ain't sitting too good. Sex. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Chicken, my chicken got loose. Hey, have you seen my chicken? Ten percent really got me going. Is that it? DNR. Yeah. Uh, uh. <laughs> All right, cook those. Cook, cook those two. What does that mean? Salt, pepper, garlic. Nobody knows what it means, but it's provocative and it gets the people going. 